fire and the response from police. Good morning, Ross. Good morning to you, Jim. This stretch of South Street was packed on Saturday night, as it tends to be during a weekend night in the summertime. But police believe it was an altercation between just three men right along this stretch of South Street that ultimately escalated into an all-out shootout with hundreds caught in the crossfire. Take a look at the original altercation. We believe that one of the three decedents was a male involved in a physical altercation with another male that was potentially the genesis of the shooting. These individuals eventually began firing at one another, with both being struck, one fatally. Police say it was the man you see in this white t-shirt in this video who was ultimately shot and killed. They have identified him as 34-year-old Gregory Jackson. Police believe the other two victims who died and most of the 12 others who were injured during the shooting were not involved in the original altercation. Officers recovered two handguns at the scene, one of them with an extended magazine. Based on their evidence, they believe at least five different guns were used during this shooting. City Councilman Mark Squilla, who represents South Street, says something needs to be done to address the crowds that are gathering on South Street. We're going to continue to allow that lawlessness to continue and saying, you know, that it's their right to do that and they're really not bothering anybody. Then we're going to continue to have these incidents. And this morning, police are still searching for three gunmen during this altercation, as well as three firearms that were not recovered here at the scene. They're offering $20,000 for information in this case. Well